Okay, before the video starts, I just want to give a quick thank you to my family who has supported me through my journey as a collector. None of this would have been possible without their support and financial backing. I really love you guys. And of course, viewers like you. Wow, I really pulled the PBS kids. 2005-2006 Lightning McQueen. I bought this guy a few months back, and overall he's pretty much out of the box, mint condition. I still have his box. I took him out of the box because OCG. I also own his Thailand or Thailand and Vietnam variants. They're not too bad, uh, especially the Vietnam one. It has very good printing on the sides, but the Rusty's headlights, eyes, and tail lights are all blurry, which I had to probably manually fix. I also own another Thailand variant, but I left it in the box. The box is already open, I just put it back in there. This abomination that I've been had since 2020, I bought him second hand and he was very disgusting to look at, so I replaced all his decals with custom printed ones I made on my own. Except the bolt. The bolt was made by Cars Dude 64 2022 Lightning McQueen Vietnam. I got this from a Mac set. It was just on the ground at a Target, so I bought it, but this thing was uh, so destroyed that I had to manually fix it, and uh, now he really can't roll properly anymore. I don't know what happened to this guy, but thank god I found him. 2023 Lightning McQueen Vietnam, also known as my main McQueen. This is a McQueen you'll mainly see in my videos in stop motion. Uh, this was given to me in a launcher from a family member, and I added some customization myself, and a little bit of fixing. For example, the tires are now fully accurate, and the Motion Doctor decal, an accurate Rusty's logo, yeah I know, it's really, really not good on there, and the accurate Rusty's logo on the hood. Motor Speedway of the South Lightning McQueen. Now, this really isn't a Motor Speedway of the South McQueen. I got this in a lot of 21 with a bunch of other Cars 1 racers. Pretty much he is a bug mouth McQueen, but I did very heavy modifications for him because he was very well scratched and uh, had to do a lot of patch jobs with paint and silver sharpie. Both the 95s are scratched, so I fixed it up with a decal I borrowed from a pretty much leftover decal and headlights that were also scratched and I had to patch over them. And I patched over the bugs from his mouth because seriously, Bug Mouth McQueen is the worst variant. Except for Tar McQueen, that one's number one. And the movie accurate Rusty's logo. Another Thailand Lady McQueen. Uh, my mom got me this when she went to the flea market. And uh, pretty much he's stock standard. All I did was add the yellow trimming on his wheels. His rear bumper though was heavily misprinted so I had to patch it up with paint and some decals. Movie accurate Lightning McQueen. Pretty much he started out as a regular Thailand McQueen and I was like, let's try to make this thing movie accurate. So all I did was get some custom made movie accurate decals I made myself and plaster it on the die cast. For example, the accurate 95 and the bolt, followed by the motion doctor decal, and details on the rivets and the yellow trimming. Plus the accurate lucky sticker and the accurate Rusty's logo, and the little outline on his eyes. Here's a Plasm McQueen I found in a garage sale. He was in a bag with a bunch of other random toys. He costed about $2, so it wasn't really that much. Again, all his decals were gone, so I replaced them with my custom made ones. And I really hate his eye expression. Seriously, how did I fumble the bag with this one? Frank Set Lightning McQueen. I pretty much found this guy at a flea market with my dad. He was, uh, again, missing all his decals, so all I did was just custom print ones. And you can tell this one's really old because I used David Ray Schulter's old Lightning McQueen decals. And the uh, Google Rusty's decal. Oh my god, Google. Dirt Track Lightning McQueen, 2007. I ordered this guy, again, a few months back, and he's pretty much, again, mid condition out of the box, but the one thing that pained me was his fucking rear bumper decal. I am so unlucky. Besides that, I really do not like how they unpainted his teeth, but who cares. Tar Lightning McQueen, 2008 to 2009. Again, the worst McQueen variant out of them all. He's pretty much the same as a regular McQueen, but Tar. And I found this guy at a thrift store and his spoiler was so fucked up. After many tries of trying to fixing it, I got sick and tired of it and I finally used clay to fix it. And there's his tar mark. Seriously. Why did y'all release this? Road Repair Lightning McQueen. This is his Thailand variant and honestly, this is the best way to do a tar McQueen. 
Like, I really love the detailing on the sides with all the scuff and dirt, and it's just amazing. I love that a new expression. White Walls, Lightning McQueen. This is a custom. It's pretty much another stock standard Tyler McQueen. And all I did was just the wheel swap it. I still have his other wheels. I don't know where I left them though, but eh, it's a pretty good custom. Cone, Lightning McQueen. Pretty much when I bought this and when I took it out of the package, the fucking cone came flying off. And uh, obviously I found it and I put it back on. Later on, I just ditched it and lost it. Or I think I still have it, I don't know. I really fucking hate the way he's modeled. Like, his rear bumper is absurd. Literally, his shape is so weird. It kind of matches this concept art or something. I don't know. And obviously, I did a terrible patch job on the hood. Finish line, Lightning McQueen. This is the Vietnam version that was included on the 11 pack that I bought at Target. I really like uh, that they re-released him after so long. The one thing that really bugs me is that his mouth plate is a lot darker than his actual color, but no biggie. Determined Lightning McQueen. I wanted to own this guy so badly back in 2016 when I first saw him. I had the chance of buying him at a Walmart, but my mom freaking said no, so I got a cut cuck there. And now years later, uh, in 2022, I bought this for myself as a Christmas present. And it was $26, but hey, it was hella fucking worth it. But sometimes I forget I own him. Dynaco Lightning McQueen. As you can see, I got this guy secondhand back in 2020, and this guy was very, very beaten up. So I got some of my special blue and just try to do the best patch job I can do. And this guy was very, very scratched. And for miscellaneous, here are the fucking mini racers I bought to flex on my friend Jacob. And the color changer that is very shitty. Speaking of Jacob, uh, pretty much he didn't have a Donnacle McQueen. He wanted one since the start of his collecting, and I always tease him for it. He eventually got one, but it's like a factory custom. But hey, at least he owns one. Transforming Lightning McQueen. This is the metallic chase variant that came out in 2020. I was so lucky to find this guy in Walmart. Like, he was just on the peg standing there waiting for me to nab him, and I was like, holy shit. I later sent this to LB, flexing on him just for my ass to get body slammed because he owns a majority of the Car Street veterans. Seriously, man, what'd you do that for? I took him out of the box, but then I later accidentally chipped him, so I put him back in the box to prevent that shit from happening. Holiday Hotshot Lane McQueen. I was so happy when I saw this dude on the shelf. Like, seriously, I was trying to find this guy for a majority of my life. I even made a Facebook post saying that I was never gonna get this die cast just for me to get it a whole year later. Wow, that thing aged poorly. I took it out of the box, but then I later put it back in to prevent that thing from getting chipped. Silver Lightning McQueen. This is the talent variant that came out in 2020, and honestly, I was pretty baffled that this thing was in the shelves at my local grocery store, even though that thing barely stocks. But hey, it's nice to own a silver variant of a McQueen diecast. For some reason, he has the 95 of the Hot Tower Pesico McQueen on the taillights and headlights. Also, they really gave this dude the accurate decals and not the later version. Wow. Raider Springs Lady McQueen. I bought this secondhand back in 2020, and for some reason I painted it all red. Like I just replaced the metallicness with the red to match the McQueen and Cars tunes. Obviously, I changed my mind and switched it back, but obviously the damage has already been done, and I tried patching it with some nail polish. Obviously, it you could you could see it on the camera. I also own the Vietnam version, which will be the main RS McQueen that appears on my videos because it's a lot cleaner. Yeah, I know all the fucking decals are blurry. All I did was replace the freaking Rusty's logo and the stuff in the back. No biggie. And another Vietnam RS McQueen, which I painted red to match the Lightning McQueen that was in Racerama, even though I forgot to paint the rear bumper. And for miscellaneous, here is a RS McQueen mini racer that my sister got me for Christmas. Cruising Lightning McQueen. This is something my dad got me at the flea market on his way back from work. And honestly, it was amazing, but considering it was secondhand, I patched up the scratches with nail polish and yeah, it shows up on the camera. I also own the Thailand variant, which will be my main Cruising McQueen because honestly, Thailand knows how to do metallic cars. But then again, they get very chipped easily. He also has bumper stickers on his rear bumper, something that the original doesn't have. And for miscellaneous sakes, I own the crappy fucking Cars 3 body shell Cruising McQueen color changer. Seriously, Mattel, why did you guys release this? This thing is garbage. Wow, majority of my McQueen collection took up the entire video. Looks like I have to make another part involving the other Cars characters. Make sure to like 
and subscribe and uh, have a good one.